Hi there and welcome to this video tutorial on the 12 bar blues and our first blues song Sweet Home Chicago. This is going to get us started on I, I'm, I'm hoping I'm going to I'm going to blow your mind a little bit with this. I just love the blues and I think it's going to really take your playing to the next level in lots of different ways. We're going to start in the key of C so make sure you feel comfortable with the C chord, the F chord and the G7 chord. We're going to dive right in here. Um, those are all the chords you need for the 12 bar blues. It's great. Now by 12 bar blues, what I mean is you've got 12 bars or those 12 groups of four beats that we talk about um, and they always follow the same pattern. What I like to do is split them up into three lines. The first line is great because it's just C and it's going to sound like this and I'm just warning. It's good to count because it's going to get a little, a little monotonous as we go on. It'll sound like this. One, two, ready and a one. C's. That's exactly what it is. That's the first line. Second line, we're going to split. We're going to split the first two bars of F. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, and then back to C. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four. So that's the second line. First two bars are F, second two bars are C. Now the third line, we're going to take it one step further. We're going to go to the G7 chord just for one bar. One, two, three, four, then to F for one bar. One, two, three, four, back to C for one bar. One, two, three, four, and then there's going to be a little bit of what I like to call the turnaround. So we're going to split this last bar. Two beats of G, two beats of, sorry, two beats of C, and then two beats of G7. And then we start the whole 12 bar sequence again over on C. So let's put it all together, no stopping in between for explanations. Here we go, from the top, starting on C. One, two, ready, and a one. So that's that 12 bar blues pattern. It just repeats over and over and over and over in these blues songs that we're going to tackle. One um, additional uh, tip I'll give you is when you are kind of committing this, uh, this pattern to memory, as I said, you know, I kind of think about it in the three different lines. Sometimes you can also think about it, you've got three different chords that you're working with, right? The first line is all just that first chord. I think of it like the ground level of your floor. Second chord, you go up one step, right, to a new chord and then back down, right? That's just the half and half. Up for two bars, back down for two bars. The third one, it's like you're going up two steps to that second chord for one bar, back to the first step 
for a one bar and then back to the ground level and then you have this little like hop up to the up to that G7 up to that second chord before you come back down that doesn't really fit into the pattern but that visual of the step sometimes can be really helpful um, in kind of remembering where you are in the pattern and where you're going with it